Hey, it's Danny from Cultures Calisthenics here, helping you get fitter, stronger, and more leaner every single day in the most natural ways possible. So, a lot of people out there get very confused about what drinks are acceptable to actually be drinking whilst intermittent fasting. So, they do not end up drinking a type of drink that is not actually going to be working alongside intermittent fasting and not actually breaking you out of your fasting state so you don't stop getting all of the amazing benefits from intermittent fasting and so you don't get yourself out of that state where your body is not actually burning fat as fuel. So the first drink that is acceptable which everyone's going to be aware of is water. Plain water is absolutely fine for very, very obvious reasons. I don't need to go into any detail on that. And it's actually one of the best drinks that you could be drinking whilst intermittent fasting because we are made up of water and it's the best drink for us. And also it's gonna hydrate you the best. And also, while you're in an intermittent fasting state, your body is detoxifying itself. So by making sure that you are actually well hydrated, it can actually detoxify the body a lot better and remove dead cells that have died within you and just to provide you with an abundance of other amazing benefits as well. And the second one, which a lot of people get confused about whether they can or not, is tea. Can you drink tea? Yes, you can. But do not be adding anything to it, such as sugar or milk or cream or anything else that will raise your insulin levels. You can use certain sweeteners such as xylitol. These won't actually increase insulin, but certain sweeteners such as aspartame will increase your insulin. And that these type of sweeteners as well, such as aspartame and asulfenk, actually are known as neurotoxins that actually kill neurons in your brain. And intermittent fasting actually gets you to produce new neurons by increasing what is known as BDNF, brain derivative neurotropic factor. So you don't want the fasting to be regenerating your neurons and then something like aspartame killing them off at the same time. It's not good for your mental health and brain health at all. But if you are drinking excessive amounts of tea that contains caffeine, then yes, it can increase your insulin because it's getting your adrenals to overproduce adrenaline, which has a negative effect on your insulin and causing it to rise. So make sure you don't go completely overboard with it. But if it's a caffeine-free tea, such as Rubos tea, then you don't have to be concerned about drinking too much at all. The third one, coffee. Is that okay? Yes, it's absolutely fine. But make sure it is black coffee. Again, follow the same guidelines with what I've mentioned with the tea. And again, if you're drinking far too much, it will have the same effect as the caffeine in the tea would from drinking too much. So yeah, I personally only drink water and black coffee, which I've just started experimenting with for the last two days, the first time in my life, and I'm actually feeling pretty good from it. Um, but what I recommend is what I learned from Ori Hofmeckler, who promotes the warrior diet, which a lot of people call it the one meal a day diet. He mentioned in an interview that I listened to recently, where he's been interviewed by Dr. McCullough, that if you are drinking a lot of coffee throughout the day as I mentioned, it's gonna to start to give you a lot of negative effects. So he's found the perfect dose seems to be around 50 milligrams of caffeine twice a day, once in the morning upon awakening and once before training. And this is around one ounce size espresso to give you about 50 milligrams of caffeine. And the fourth one, apple cider vinegar. This one is completely fine to consume. Just make sure that it says no calories on the label because some of them will contain calories and if you don't know supplier where to get this from I highly recommend Bragg's apple cider vinegar that is raw organic and with the mother which means that it is the most nutrient dense that it possibly can be and it's not pasteurized it's not killed off a lot of the nutrients and this is going to give you an abundance of amazing benefits a lot of people find it so good for actually being appetite suppressant and making them lose weight as well and many other amazing benefits so yeah give this a go if you want to drink that then it's absolutely fine and the fifth one zero calorie drinks yes you can consume some of them and no you can't due to the reasons that i mentioned earlier with specific sweeteners so do your research up online and if you're going to drink a drink research the sweetener that is in it and see if it causes an insulin response and if it says that it does online then avoid it like the plague because it will break you out of your fasting state and i will be very honest with you 
artificial sweeteners are not very good for you, no matter which ones they are, except for xylitol, from what I'm aware of. It actually has a lot of amazing benefits. So I would personally recommend trying to avoid all of them, except for the xylitol. And the sixth one, which a lot of people ask about is, can you drink lemon or lime water? And when I say lemon or lime water, they're... L and the sixth one, which a lot of people ask about online from the research that I've done prior to making this video, is can you drink water with some fresh lemon added to it or some fresh lime juice? This is absolutely fine. As long as you're not consuming excessive amounts of it added to the water, it will not cause an insulin response. So around a teaspoon or so will be absolutely fine to keep you in that fasted state because a lot of people may just get bored of drinking coffee and plain water, so this is another drink that you can make yourself. And the seventh one, which I think is quite obvious, alcohol. Avoid this at all costs. This is really going to have a negative effect on your health overall and it will raise your insulin levels. You can get certain alcohol from what I'm aware of that has no sugar in it, but I think it's just best avoided because it's still having an effect on your liver in a negative way. So it's stopped in a lot of the benefits from intermittent fasting actually fully being induced within you and working correctly and efficiently. And number eight, which is not a specific drink, but a lot of people wonder, can I add certain supplements or pre-workouts to my water and drink it before a workout by intermittent fasting or afterwards? And it depends. Certain nutrients will raise your insulin levels and certain ones won't. Things such as leucine raise it and leucine is in BCAAs and other specific nutrients as well. So you have to do your research and find out if specific nutrients will raise your insulin levels and actually break you out of your fasting state. And yeah, if you're having a pre-workout or something very similar before your workout or after your workout, you want to be making sure that it has no calories in it, no sugar added or anything else that could be causing an insulin response within your body. And number eight, can you have protein powders? No, it's the type of food, do not be consuming this. It's actually gonna break you out of your fastest state. I don't care what a lot of people say, there's a lot of people saying you can consume whey protein, but this is defeating the object of intermittent fasting. You want the digestion to be shut down so it can use all of that energy that it's not using for digestion to heal the body and regenerate the body and to give you all of the other amazing benefits from intermittent fasting. Wait until you broke your fast and then you can consume any type of drinks you want. Fruit juices, green juices, smoothies, protein shakes, whatever you like. And something to add on to this as well is you want to be consuming no food sources whatsoever. I think that's quite obvious that you shouldn't be doing this because yet yeah, it will break you out of your fasted state. And yet yeah, if you want to consume any other types of sweeteners such as honey, or agave syrup or date syrup. Yeah, they're obviously loaded with sugar, so avoid them at all costs. So yeah, I hope this video has been helpful because yeah, there's a lot of amazing information that will clear up any confusion that you may have had with intermittent fasting and what drinks will break you out fast and which ones won't. So if you have any questions, as always, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone that you think would benefit greatly from what I shared with you today in this video. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis, talking about intermittent fasting and how you can get it to work the best for you. So many tips and tricks related around it so you can just sustain it long term and get the greatest benefits. And so many videos on calisthenics and how you can build your body naturally and just get the most gains while also stripping down your body fat at the same time and how you can go in the direction of just having an abundance of energy at all times and feeling the best in the most natural ways possible. So if that sounds good to you, then stay tuned because there will be many videos on these subjects and many more on a weekly basis. So yeah, thanks for watching. As always, stay strong, stay fit and go and get those gains. Peace.